Okay, so we're going to change each mixed number to an improper fraction. 1 and 5 eighths. The trick is you take this number, 8, multiply it by this number, 1, and then add 5. So we just go 8 times 1 plus 5. And that's the amount of 8s we have. So it's 8 eighths plus 5 eighths, because in the whole number, we have 8 eighths. So 8 times 1 is 8 plus 5. So that guy is 13 eighths. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right? And again, think about it. So the 1 is 8 eighths. So 1 and 8, 5 eighths is like 8 eighths plus 5 eighths. That's what it is. It's 8 eighths plus 5 eighths. Does that make sense? That's 13 eighths, right? Yeah. Okay. So 15 and 2 thirds, the trick is you go this number 3 times 15 plus 2. So 3 times 15 plus 2, and that's the amount of thirds we have. So that's the trick. But let's calculate that. So let me know when you guys have this one figured out. So we got three fifteens forty five plus two all over three. So that's forty seven thirds. Any questions on that one? No. Right. And so at this point, we can see it's 45 thirds plus 2 thirds. 15 can be changed into 45 over 3 or 45 thirds. 15 and 2 thirds is the same thing as 45 thirds plus 2 thirds, which is 47 thirds, right? Okay. So um, let you guys... Work on this one and, and let me know when you got figured out and then I'll run through it. It's four and twenty twenty firsts. I got it. All right. So here we go. Twenty one times four or four times twenty one. Same thing. Um, plus twenty all over twenty one. So that's eighty four twenty firsts plus twenty twenty firsts. Right, so adding up gives us 104 over 21, and I made a typo, oops, sorry, 104 over 21, right? Um, and 4, of course, is 84 21sts. 
So 4 and 20 over 21, the same thing as 84 over 21 plus 20 over 21. And that makes 104 over 20, 20 right? Any questions on that one? No. Good.